And here's an example of how to work with the intensity of light. Uh, this is again dealing with electromagnetic radiation. And imagine that we have a source of light. The power of the source is 60 watts. The wavelength of the light that's emanated is 700 nanometers. And let's say that at the distance of 5 meters, we want to know the amplitude of the electric, of the, um, electric field oscillations and the magnitude of the magnetic field oscillations. So, where do you start? Well, first of all, we have an, a relationship between these two and the intensity of the light. So, the intensity of the light can be defined as 1 over mu sub naught times E times B, where E and B are the average amplitude of the magnetic field and the electric field oscillations. So we can then have an equation that then describes it as the maximum uh, amplitude of these oscillations. Remember that E is equal to the square root of 2 over 2 times E max. And if we square both sides, we can then say that <coughs> E squared is equal to 2 over 4 times E max squared, like that. Of course, E squared is equal to then 1 half E max squared. And we can do the same for the B field, for the magnetic field. Now, also realizing that the electric field oscillations is equal to the speed of light times the magnetic field oscillations in amplitude. So we can replace B by E over C. So we can also say that the intensity is equal to 1 over mu sub naught C times E squared. And if we now want to go ahead and find the uh, define the equation in terms of the maximum oscillations, we have to multiply this times one half, so we can say that the intensity is equal to one over two mu sub naught c times e max squared. At the same time, we can also express this equation in terms of the B field, so instead of replacing B by e over c, so again, we can say that uh, e over c is equal to B, we can also solve this equation for e, and that's e is equal to cb, so instead of uh, e, we can write CB, and so we can say that the intensity is equal to C divided by 2 mu sub naught times E, oh, not E in this case, but now would be B max squared. So now we have the relationship between the E max and the B max to the intensity. Now we still have to find the intensity of the light at this location. And for that we can use the following equation. The intensity at any distance is equal to the power of the source divided by the area over which the, over which the light spreads. So imagine that we have a source here, the light spreads in all directions, outward in all directions. So what's the intensity at this point? Well, that's equal to the power of the source divided by the surface area of the spherical shape out to a distance of 5 meters, so it would be 4 pi r squared, which is the surface area of a sphere. All right, so now we can find the intensity, plug that in here and in here, and to find, to find E max and B max. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and plug in the power, which is 60 watts, divided by 4 pi times the radius, which is 5 meters. We have to square that, and let's see what the intensity is of the light at a distance of 5 meters. So 60 divided by 4, divided by pi, and then divide by 25 equals, and so it would be 0 0.19, and of course the units would be watts per square meter, which are the units for the intensity of light. So now that we have the intensity of the light, we can now find the oscillation maximum for the electric field and for the magnetic field. So let's solve for the E max. So taking this equation over here, we can say that E max, is equal to, when I take those and bring it up here and take the square root, I get 2 mu sub naught c i and then the square root of that. Okay, plug in those numbers in that I know. This is 2 times mu sub naught, which is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. c is 3 times 10 to the 8. And i would be, what we got over here, 0 0.19. Okay, plug in those numbers in to the calculator times 3e to the 8 times 8.85e to the 12 minus times 2 equals and we get 1.01 .01 times 10 to the minus 3. Now, what are the units of this? 
Well, these are the units of the electric field, and so the units of the electric field would be newtons per coulomb, or volts per meter. So we can express it in either term, E max is equal to 1.01 .01 times 10 to the minus 3, that would be volts per meter, or newtons per coulomb. All right, doing the same for the magnetic field, we can now take this equation and also solve it for B max. We put the 2 mu sub naught up here, bring the C down here, take the square root. So we have B max is equal to the square root of 2 mu sub naught I divided by the speed of light C. All right, plug in the numbers, we get the square root of 2 times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. The intensity was 0 0.19 and divide the whole thing by the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8. And let's see what that is equal to. So we have 8.85 e to the 12 minus times 2 times 0 0.19 divided by 3 e to the 8 and then take the square root and we end up with 1.05 times 10 to the minus 10, and the units, of course, for magnetic field strength is Tesla's. And that would be B max. All right, that is how you find the strength of the electric field and magnetic field oscillations of any source of electromagnetic radiation at any distance away from the source.